So here's a look at my top 10 80s fashion trends. Let's start with number 10, mullets. You can't talk about 80s without talking about mullets. We all love the old saying, business in front and party in the back. The hair was short on the front and sides and pretty long in the back. Celebrities like Billy Ray Cyrus wore these styles well. Number nine, ripped jeans. Kids love jeans that had holes, especially in the knees. Most of these holes were created by the kids themselves. Hard rock and heavy metal bands of the 80s helped this trend grow. My cousin had ripped jeans, I remember, and my grandmother offered to buy him a new pair every time she saw him. It was hilarious. Number eight, LA Gear high top shoes. LA Gear shoes were worn by a lot of people in the 80s. Shoe brands would hire celebrities to show off their shoes. For boys, one of the main celebrities was San Francisco 49ers quarterback Joe Montana. He was in a bunch of LA Gear ads showing off the popular high tops. To reach girls, LA Gear signed on two big music artists, Paula Abdul and Belinda Carlisle. They showed off the shoes' cuteness and how they were made for those tough girls. And the best part of LA Gear shoes, each pair came with an awesome little license plate. Number seven, leg warmers. When it's time to work out, don't forget those leg warmers. You saw these outfits a lot when you turned on the television in the 80s. Celebrities would always be promoting fitness and aerobic exercises, and they always wore these leggings with leg warmers. The leg warmers weren't just for exercising. People wore them with casual jeans as well. Moving on to number six, and one of my favorites, fanny packs. This is one of those trends that keep coming back. In the 80s, it was huge. I'm talking really big. Of course, they were bright and colorful like the 80s were, and they were really useful for keeping all your loose change, sunglasses, gum, and whatever you decided to take on the go. That brings us to number five, biker shorts. Now, I'm kind of embarrassed to admit this, but yeah, I begged my mom for a pair of biker shorts. Biker shorts were super popular in the 80s, Wearing them under a pair of shorts was also pretty cool in the 80s. Number four, rolled up jeans. If you didn't wear them like this, you weren't cool. Or maybe you were and everybody else wasn't. Who knows? Rolling up the bottoms of your pants was a very popular trend in the 80s. You couldn't run out the door if you hadn't cuffed your jeans yet. And yes, there was an art to it. The good thing about this trend is that it was a quick fix if your jeans were a little long. Number three, acid washed jeans. A nice pair of regular jeans? No thank you. I'll take mine and wash them in acid. This was a thing back in the mid 80s. Actually, it wasn't just jeans, it was anything denim. To get this look, denim was washed with chlorine using a pumice stone. In fact, these jeans were so popular, it caused a pumice stone shortage in the 80s. Number two, heavy makeup and big hair. There was no such thing as too much when it came to 80s fashion, especially when you're talking about makeup and hair. Heavy makeup was the in, and when it came to big hair, the bigger, the better. People were not afraid to experiment. You saw it most with music groups like Poison and stars like Cyndi Lauper. And my number one trend for 80s fashion trends, Ray-Ban sunglasses. Nothing said, I am freaking cool more than a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Ray-Bans are worn by some of the biggest pop and film stars of the decade. Yep, Tom Cruise in Top Gun. Everybody loved Top Gun in the 80s. Madonna wore them. Of course, many of us kids couldn't afford the real thing and looked pretty good in some fashionable knockoff Ray-Bans. However, you've got to admit, nothing beats a good pair of mirror lens sunglasses. So that's my list of the top 10 80 fashion trends. What's yours look like? Leave me a comment, let me know some of the things I missed, and maybe we'll catch it in a future video. Hope this brought back some great memories. If it did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.